I presuppose that our background knowledge includes a good deal of information about the historical Jesus, including his radical personal claims, his teaching, and his crucifixion. In so doing, I stand squarely in the mainstream of New Testament scholarship regarding the historical Jesus. Again, I realize that Richard doesn't share this presupposition. Richard takes the extremist position that Jesus of Nazareth never even existed, that there was no such person in history. This is a position which is so extreme that to call it marginal would be an understatement. It doesn't even appear on the map of contemporary New Testament scholarship.